Hello, this is JB, and you probably heard of these discussions again, which operating system is best for music production, and some say it's Mac because it's all made up for media, some say it's Windows because it's more compatible, and uh, there's a small group saying Linux, and I always say screw that, I'm working with hardware sequencers, and recently I had the idea, um, how would this actually work if I was really working with a hardware sequencer like uh, the Yamaha QY100 here? And yeah, since I've got a compressor now right with me, the LSS um, 3630, things started to go real. And yeah, I made a little setup uh, how this would actually work. So I'm not working with any DAW. The only thing I have running right now on my PC is a software called uh, MIDI Patch Bay, which is basically for routing MIDI. And um, right now, my hardware sequencer is the QY100, as I said, and it's connected via MIDI cable to the uh, input 8 of my MIDI interface, and then routed all the way um, to the other synthesizers. And what we have here is uh, Adobe Audition recording my microphone and the output of my synthesizers. Um, this could work completely without uh, the MIDI patch base software if I wasn't so lazy uh, rewiring all the uh, MIDI stuff here because I could make up a MIDI chain that would lead um, from the q 100 to each synth and then wire MIDI through to the next and to the next and to the next. And then I had to set each synthesizer to a certain uh, global channel so it only reacts on the third channel and the rest is slipped through. But I didn't want to do that because um, I don't want to rewire all this stuff that you have uh, here. This is all uh, fixed up with, uh, um, yeah, so. Is a bit hard. So I used the software to um, route all the MIDI channels. As you can see here in the list again, um, we can go through this step by step. Um, the first patch is the Easy Input 8, only channel 1, we're mapped to channel 1, uh, output 1 of the Easy interface, which is my S80. Um, then we have input channel 2, is routed to the channel 1 of uh, output 2. So. Um, can we see this here? When I play channel 1 here, it's the S80. When I play channel 2, it's the X5D. Channel 3 is now all the channels from the series. Then we have channel 10, which is lead, uh, led to the V-Synth. The V-Synth is uh, the only um, synthesis can, that can load samples at the moment. So this one is responsible for the kick. We've got the AN1X. And then there's channel 12, currently muted, which is led to the rocket. And now we have to go to the audio routing. I've got the compressor here, which is responsible for side chaining. The routing is like that. Um, all my synths, except for the rocket, um, are routed to group 1, 2. Focus, focus, focus. Focus failing now. And group 1, 2 is uh, output to the compressor's input. And the compressor output is led through the first two channels here. And these are routed to the stereo output. And, well, except for also for the V-Synth. The V-Synth is not supposed to be sign changed then since this is the kick. And the kick, um, well, the V-Synth goes to the tape in because I didn't have any other channel free. The rocket is directly connected via this cable to the sidechain input of the compressor. Uh, and it only actually makes a little like clicking noise uh, with a filter, a very short, just, just to have an impulse that uh, triggers the sidechain. So if I push the, the launch button here, nothing, nothing is hearable, but you can see that the compressor is reducing stuff. So triggering the side chain. Oh, the last four channels are, in fact, for the uh, QY100 internal, the internal sound engine. So I've prepared a little track. It's pretty much using, well, not all the 16 channels, but you can hear uh, how we get in trouble right now. 
So there are f these four channels uh, internally of the QR100 plus um, I've got the pattern which uh, triggers an open hi-hat, 909 open hi-hat and a snare, an additional snare and it starts in the middle. So it doesn't, it, this, this uh, pattern section is not sent through the MIDI out because the MIDI out is busy enough. So I, that's the reason also why I didn't put it here because every channel that's here uh, is sent through the MIDI out but not the pattern section. So I've prepared a little clip how this works. This is totally sequenced inside the QR100. Um, all the synths are set up. Uh, there's very little automation inside one. And you can also do, cannot see the, um, the VU levels here. So you have to believe me that it's working because um, in, inside of the QR100 I had to set I had to disconnect uh, these channels from the sound engine so we don't hear a piano, which is like um, when I do this. That's why. So you have always the piano or whatever sound it is coming from the Q100s and you see the U meters here as well. And if I pl um, press play now, then there's a parameter send that sets every receiving channel of every part to off. So we still have this, and now press play. And now the view meter is off and also the piano is no more sounding. So let's press play and um, listen how this works. Everything is going to the ins input here and then routed to each separate output of the interface. There's the kick, twitching, blinking. And it's con constantly lighting, lighting up. And this is basically the output. So if I pull this volume down, Everything is muted. And what we can hear now at the moment is that we already have some timing issues. Which is because um, the old MIDI standard is not quite the fastest. That's pretty much ev everything I've got so far. So it basically works, but it has limits, especially when it comes to um, many channels at the same time. Listen again, and um, I'm shutting up now, and this is also the mastered version you're hearing now, so if, um, the way it should sound when, 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 it's, when it's finished mixing, so I'm just shutting up and you're listening to the stuff.